Hi everyone, my name is Myrna. For those of you that are new here, I am the owner of Second Wind Style and I sell men and women's clothing and shoes on platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I have a what's sold video for you. I'm going to give you um, about 25 to 30 items that sold for me during the week of April 2nd through the 8th. I did sell a total of 53 items uh, but I don't want to make my video too long, so I'll just go over uh, a little bit of what's sold on eBay and some on Poshmark and uh, also Mercari. So um, at the end of the video, I will go over my gross total sales as well as my profit after the cost of goods and fees on these platforms. So um, without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with eBay. And the first item that I sold is a loft coral orange eyelet flutter sleeve tiered swing dress in a size 12. Um, very nice uh, lightweight cotton dress for summer. Um, I paid $3 for this dress and I sold it on eBay for $20 and after fees and cost of goods i made a profit of 15 dollars 31 super cute dress with a tiered hem and just perfect to wear with sandals for summer very nice all right the next item is a women's knox rose pink floral embroidered mini dress size 2xl or uh, yeah, 2XL. It is a cottage core style bohemian, um, nice uh, tassel detail, very nice dress. And I paid $5 for this dress and I sold it on eBay for $25. Um, this dress did take about four months to sell. And after eBay fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $16.68. This brand seems to um, get a lot of attention. Um, it is a Target brand and it doesn't really sell for much. So if you get it at a really low price, um, you can make a few dollars profit. So not bad. Okay, the next item that I sold is a Gracia women's white eyelet floral puff sleeve blouse and it was a size large very pretty white floral blouse and it had the puff sleeves very very nice i put keywords on my listing as romantic and bohemian and this top i paid five dollars for this top and it sold on ebay for 25 dollars after fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $17.02, and it took about two months to sell. The next item I sold is an Express Blue Floral Halter Maxi Dress, and this dress was a size medium. It was a halter style uh, floral print and very, very pretty dress for warm weather. And so I use keywords um, on my title, beachy, coastal, resort, bohemian. Uh, this dress, I paid $8 for it. And the dress did sell on eBay for $31.45. After eBay fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $19.78. The next item that sold is a Fabletics women's define power hold mid-rise capri leggings in daydream print size extra large i picked these up in the fall as i was trying to um, buy um, a lot of fitness and activewear clothing because you know beginning of the year that seems to sell really well so i was accumulating a lot of fitness um, clothing and so I picked these up but I did pay six dollars for these which I think it's a lot for Fabletics the brand doesn't seem to sell very well for me um, but I did make a profit of fifteen dollars and three cents they did sell 
on eBay for $24.95. So I did, you know, make a decent profit after fees and cost of goods. All right, the next item that I sold on eBay is a J. Crew Deluso Women's 100% Cashmere Crew Neck Sweater in a camel tan color, size extra small. I paid $5 for this sweater and I did sell it on eBay for $26.95. The sweater did take about four months to sell and I sold it for $26.95, like I said, after fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $19.15. I do love picking up cashmere, uh, but I don't like picking up smaller sizes and I did pick up an extra small probably the reason why it took so long to sell um but i'm not you know not 100 percent sure but i'm happy that it did sell okay so the next item that i sold on ebay is a j mclaughlin blue white stripe catalina cloth helena dress in a size small and this type of fabric um the catalina cloth for this brand sells really well and this dress took a month to sell i did pay seven dollars for it and i sold it for 32 dollars after fees and cost of goods i made a profit of 21 dollars and 36 cents the next item that i sold on ebay is a hunter's original chelsea boots in a size eight these were black and they were in excellent condition we paid $7 for these boots and they sold on eBay for $40. After eBay fees and cost of goods, I profited three, uh, $30.09. These took about a week to sell, very, very quick. I believe I listed them on, actually, they took two days to sell. I listed them April 1st and they sold April 3rd. So very, very quick sale. So hunter chelsea boots very nice the next item that sold on ebay is the sack off-white rattan handle woven handbag and i put keywords as resort travel beach coastal beautiful hand woven bag in a pretty i would say a large size um the bag was very clean on the inside and uh, we paid $7 for this bag and it sold for $39. After fees and cost of goods, there was a profit of $21.32. And this one took a month to sell. So very happy with that sale. It was um, a little bit awkward getting it to fit into a box because it's kind of wide so i struggled a little bit to package it up but made it okay to the buyer and i got positive feedback for it so i'm happy all right the next item that i'm gonna go over is a hoka one one speed goat for women's size 10 running trail sneakers in the color anthracite so i had sold these previously for $75 on eBay and the buyer never paid. I waited the four days for the buyer to pay, sent messages, the buyer never replied, never paid. So I ended up relisting them. And within a week of relisting, I did get an offer for $99.95, which I accepted. And we had paid $4.80 for these. And so we made a really nice profit on these. We profited $70.54 after fees and cost of goods. So happy that the other buyer didn't pay because I ended up making more money the second time they sold. So very great brand. These sneakers um, had Vibram soles and just a great great sneaker i love finding hokas because they sell so well all right so my next item that sold is a disney winnie the pooh star shaped blue paper lamp and this little lamp took quite a bit to sell um i believe maybe over a year i had it in my store 
Um, I used to sell hard goods, um, lots of them. And I started to change my store a little bit. I started not picking up so many hard goods because I didn't really like all the packing expenses and, you know, finding the right boxes and bubble wrap. It was just too time consuming for me. So I, I stopped buying hard goods. Um, so this is stuff that's just been sitting in my store and it's finally moving. So, um, super cute little Disney lamp. $4 for it. It did sit for quite a bit. So when I received an offer for $15, I just took it. So after fees and cost of goods, there was a profit of $9 and 43 cents. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if you guys, um, do hard goods. It's just time consuming. I prefer to ship clothing and shoes. It's just so much easier. Um, yeah, I just, I don't like it. So I had to change, pivot a little bit, you know? So anyhow, my next item that sold is a Nakona shotgun belt. And this belt um, had a camouflage print to it. It was a little bit worn. It's a size 36. And um, it took quite a bit to sell. I would say about a year for, for me to sell this belt. Uh, but I did pay $3 for the belt and I took an offer of $17.54. Um, not sure why it sat so long because Nikona uh, belts seem to sell pretty well. I think it was because it was a little bit more worn. But happy that I still made a profit of $15.53 after fees and cost of goods. So happy with that. Okay, the next item that I sold is a loft women's one size scarf or shawl in a white floral lightweight pattern. And I paid $4.82 for the scarf. It was new with tags, very pretty lightweight fabric for the spring and summer. And I took an offer of $20.66 on eBay. And after fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $13.72. So uh, late fall last year, I did find quite a few new tags, um, Loft and Ann Taylor Loft scarves, and I picked up all of them and I sold most of them. I may have one or two left, um, but a pretty decent profit overall. I love selling accessories, by the way. Okay, the next item is also another hard good, and this was a Carl Newman Original Oil on Canvas Old Barn Landscape Painting. It was framed size 15 inches by 17 inches in a green wooden frame. Uh, vintage for sure, and I used to sell, like I said, a lot of hard goods, and paintings were one of the items that I did sell plenty of and most of them were vintage and a lot of them oil paintings and when i saw this at the thrift store um actually let's see it was back in the summer when i found this one i know that uh, this artist is pretty well known and his paintings do sell well and i was like oh do i want to pick this hard good up and so i decided what the heck i paid four dollars and 67 cents for it and i said okay i'll pick it up it's just awkward shape, you know, box that you have to find or, you know, the packaging is just so tedious. I decided to grab it anyway and I listed it at $125 and it did get a lot of attention and I kept, you know, relisting it on eBay after 60 days. If it didn't get any attention or any offers, I would just relist it. And I finally got an offer for $70, which I accepted. So very happy with that. After fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $57.08. And it went to Israel. So very happy with that sale. And, you know, you can make lots of money selling hard goods. It's just, you know, the packaging is just a lot of work. And I'm not in for it. So, um, 
happy that one sold and i still have a couple more paintings that i'm trying to sell but hopefully those will sell soon as well all right and my last item that i want to go over on ebay is the nines by hatch white maternity button front dress it was new with tags and this is a brand that is sold by target uh, Hatch is a maternity brand that retails for a lot and sells really well in the retail market, uh, the resale market. But um, this is the Target collaboration and I paid $10 for this dress. Like I said, it was new with tags. Uh, I thought it was such a beautiful maternity dress and I put on my title photo, baby shower um, as keywords and it did take a little bit to sell i purchased this one at the end of october so about six months to sell i took an offer on ebay of 28 dollars, and after fees and cost of goods i made a profit of 14 dollars. so not bad for a target brand okay and so now i'm going to go over my one sale on mercari Okay, so my one sale on Mercari was the Lily Pulitzer Isle Lattice One Piece Swimsuit in size 16, black one piece swimsuit with a lattice front and back. And of course, the Lily Pulitzer, I listed it for $89 on Mercari, and somebody immediately sent me an offer of $80, which I accepted. So after uh, fees on the Mercari platform and my cost of goods, which was $6, I made a profit of $63.18. So very, very happy with that sale. And I wonder if I could have priced it higher, but it moves so quick. Uh, I'm always happy with a fast flip. So not mad about that one. Okay, then my next item, uh, or all of my next items will be from Poshmark. And the first item on Poshmark is an Athleta Featherweight Tank Dress Packable Racer Back in Purple, size 10. Really uh, great dress for spring and summer. It has a nice um, fabric to it and it's packable really cute button detail on the front and it had a tie waist so this dress sold for $29 on Poshmark. I paid five dollars for this dress after fees and cost of goods. I made a profit of $18.12 and the dress took about two weeks to sell so sold really quickly. All right and then the next item I sold on Poshmark is a J. Jill green corduroy jacket and this one i did pay up for this jacket i paid twenty dollars um, the jacket was new with tags and it did retail for 99 dollars. and this jacket did sit for quite a while i actually bought it january of 2022 so it took over a year to sell but um I did accept an offer of $64 on Poshmark. After fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $31.20. So will I pick that up again? Not for $20. So it, you know, it did get a lot of attention. It just was not moving. So happy to see that one find a home. Okay, the next item I sold on Poshmark is an Ann Taylor Loft blue denim jean midi skirt and um this was a size eight it was a either midi or maxi the length on the skirt was um let's see i thought i had it in my listing oh uh 35 inches so i know that it did hit me at the ankle so probably a maxi skirt and anyway this one sold for $30 on Poshmark it sold within three weeks of listing and I did pay $4.80 for this skirt and after fees and cost of goods on Poshmark I profited $19.20 and 
and I have picked up since then another two midi two maxi denim skirts because this is a trend and uh, I'm hoping to sell these two that I just picked up one of them is a plus size so I believe I may have listed it already uh, both of those so hoping to get a quick sale there all right, the next item I sold on Poshmark is a Chico's Blue Green Floral Medallion Bell Sleeve Knit Blouse in a size large. And this one uh, sold for $25. I paid $5.08 for this one after fees and cost of goods. I made a profit of $14.92. And I love picking up Chico's. This brand is a bread and butter brand for me. I practically sell almost everything in this brand and fairly quickly. Um, I pick up lots of blouses, especially these uh, knit type of slinky style tops. They sell really, really well for me. Not for a lot of money, but um, you know, $14 profits add up quickly, right? So Every time I find them in a size two or three, two being a large, three being an extra large in the brand, um, I definitely pick them up because they do sell. I'm not afraid to invest $5 to make a $14 profit. I will not pass it up. That I, I'll do it all day long, so not mad about that. Okay, the next item that I sold is a Nike Tech Tight fit leggings for men. These were new with tags. They were a size two extra large and um, they sold for $30. I paid $5.50 for these men's leggings and they sold for 30, like I said, after fees and cost of goods. I made a profit of $18.50. I had picked uh, two of these new with tags one sold a few weeks ago, and then this one just recently sold. I did pick them up in the fall, like I said, when I was stockpiling on all the fitness and athletic wear. And so they did take about six to seven months to sell, but happy with my profit. Can't complain. Okay, so the next item that I sold is a Talbot Seersucker Striped Scalloped Hem Skirt, new with tags, size 16W. Very nice skirt for spring and summer, a nautical theme to it. I actually used that as a keyword. I put coastal and nautical as one of the keywords on it, and it sold within days of listing. So I paid seven dollars for this skirt because it was new with tags after uh poshmark fees and cost of goods i made a profit of 14 dollars. not sure if i mentioned that it did sell for 25 so not a bad sale there the next item that sold on poshmark is a torrid animal print cutout tunic blouse in a size 5x and this one sold in about a week after listing. I paid $5 for this blouse and it sold for $25 on Poshmark. After fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $12.98. And like I said, these small profits do add up. The next item that sold on Poshmark is an Alaskan Hard Gear Stone Run Slim Fit Pants in a size 42 by 30. I paid $6 for these pants and they sold on Poshmark on an offer from a buyer for $30 and I bought these in February so they took about two months to sell. This is a pretty good brand. It's a brand sold by Duluth and um, Duluth Trading Company and it seems to sell pretty well for me. Um, every time I've picked it up it seems to move rather quickly. So a profit of $18 on those, very happy with that. The next item I sold on Poshmark is a J. Jill Ombre, Ombre Dip Dye Dusty Pink Tie Up Button Front Top in a size extra large. This top was new with tags, beautiful pink color, gauze-like material, roll tab sleeves, tie front, and super cute for spring and summer. 
I paid $6 for this top and it sold for $30 and after fees I profited $18 and this top took about a month to sell so happy with that sale. The following item is a soft surrounding Scalina button down tunic top in a size extra large. This top was very pretty colorful plaid linen blend um, and it I did sell it for $27. I accepted an offer of $27. And this one um, was actually, I priced it lower because the blouse or the tunic top was supposed to have buttons on the back. And I think the person that had originally purchased this removed the buttons from the back. So when I was looking for comps, I noticed that all of the ones of the style um, all had buttons in the back and mine didn't. So. I had to um, disclose that in the listing and I priced it a little bit lower and it still sold in a week. So I paid $7 for it, like I said, $27 it sold on an offer and I did um, profit $14.60 on this one. So not mad about that. All right, and then the next item that I sold on Poshmark is a Melissa McCarthy 7 black full wrap maxi dress new tag size 1x beautiful dress for any special occasion in the spring and summer nice flowy high low hem and um, chiffon like material very very pretty dress this one i accepted an offer of 40 dollars like i said it was new with tags i did pay five dollars and 49 cents for this dress and I picked this one up at Salvation Army. I picked it up back in February, mid-February. So it did take about two months to sell. And after Poshmark fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $26.51. Okay, so the next item, also a Duluth or Duluth brand. This one was a Duluth tan dry on the fly cargo pants standard fit size extra large by 30 and these pants are men's um outdoor hiking type pants i took an offer of 25 dollars on these i did pay six dollars after poshmark fees and cost of goods i profited 14 dollars so hiking outdoorsy type of pants are selling very well so keep your eyes out for that. All right, the last item that I sold was an Athleta Cabo Linen Drawstring Joggers in the color Toasted Ochre, size 12. And I did pay up $10 for these joggers. I picked them up middle of February and I paid up for them because they were linen and Athleta is a good brand. Anyhow, um, I did take an offer of $35 on Poshmark and after my fees and cost of goods, I made a profit of $15.98. So those are some of my sales from the week of April 2nd through the 8th. And like I said before, I sold a total of 53 items. So the gross total for my sales that week were $1,621.77. And the cost of goods for all 53 items sold was $289.55. And after fees and um, cost of goods, shipping fees, um, shipping discounts, platform fees, all of that, I made a profit of $900.73, which to me was fantastic. Um, that is wonderful, a wonderful profit uh for me and um i'm grateful to be able to work from home what a gift you know it is truly a gift from god anyhow i hope that your sales were just as good and um i want to thank everyone for all the support that i'm getting on youtube um, i appreciate each and every one of you if reselling content is something that you like, please consider subscribing to my channel. I would appreciate it with all my heart. And I want to um, just wish you guys a blessed rest of your day. If you have any questions for me, you know, 
put a comment down below. I will be happy to answer your questions and I will be seeing you guys soon. So God bless. Take care. Bye.